the choice of Snow White. Uh, it's not a particularly nice story, is it? No, it's, um, it's a hard story. Mm -hmm. And what happened to this uh, small girl is incredible. It's, mm -hmm. But also it, it is really almost like a thriller, mm -hmm. I think. In comparison, for example, of the Sleeping Beauty, which the story is very simple, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, with Snow White, there is so many events, mm -hmm. and um, that's why I chose this uh, fairy tale, mm -hmm. and uh, and that give a lot of uh, occasion to develop creativity. Mm -hmm. And I read somewhere that you had said that the story of Snow White is almost the Oedipal story in reverse. I wonder if you could talk about that a little. Yes. Now, also, I chose this um, fairy tale because I was thinking that uh, uh, Snow White is very modern, very actual, very... Um, I think this is a moment of Snow White, actually. Why? Because, uh, because of the progress of science, of medicine, mm -hmm. of... Uh, uh, of a lot of uh, di dietetic, you know, the, 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 the food, yes. then we, we become older, but in better, um, with a better health, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and also, uh, for example, you can see a woman of 50 year or 60 year, mm -hmm. very elegant and very nice mm -hmm. looking mm -hmm. with a lot of seduction. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And then you can see in the street, a, a, a woman of 50 year working with her daughter mm. of 18, and there is like a competition mm. of seduction mm. between the two. Then, mm. for example, they can have, wear the same clothes and they exchange. And, mm. and that's why I was thinking, but Snow White is exactly the problem that can lie in the society, actually, mm. between women and, mm. and uh, daughter, mm. mother and daughter. Mm. And I, I, was, I was thinking, it is really the, the period, actually, of the... Uh, Snow White complex, like we say, a deep complex. Uh, I think this is a period of that. So, do I detect that there is uh, an attempt to understand or some sympathy with the stepmother? I think it's a fascinating uh, uh, character, first of all. And d'ailleurs, uh, and you can see that Jean-Paul Gaultier also put a, a specific touch on, on her, yes. like something very strong. And, and very sexual. Yes, and she's uh, fascinating yes. and, uh, and uh, beautiful and, uh, and uh, passionate, mm -hmm. yeah. We've been talking a lot about the nature of obsession. Yeah. And becoming a women, middle-aged women, of which the wicked stepmother is, <clears throat> becoming obsessed about their outward beauty, their physical beauty. Yeah, Whereas but um, behind that, there is question about the femininity and the feminism, also, to my opinion, because I think, actually, when a woman become a mother, she don't want to give up with other part of his life, for example, professional or about seduction, about to be a lover, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. I do. And for that also, there is a, a fight to, to stay a, a woman and not just to become mother. I, you can't say to a woman, you are a mother. This is not the only thing a, a woman is. Mm -hmm. uh, she is a mother, but it's a part of mm -hmm. his life. Yes. And, and because I think um, women has to assume that and, and to be mother, obviously, but also uh, um, women deserve to be uh, president of, of the United States or, you know, then that's why I, I think it's a very uh, deep question.